scripture and David wrote that scripture and he uh, let us know you know that God will see you through yes God will see you through coming from the 23rd Psalm <clears throat> and I'm gonna read this y'all know me uh, by the King James Version but I'm gonna read read this from the, the New Living Transaction translation just to get some uh, understanding in the word. So many times we read scripture and we read, we read it and because we've heard it so often we don't stop to really think about what the scripture is saying. We just read it because we know it. Mm -hmm. And we don't, we don't delve into what the words actually mean. Mm -hmm. But every scripture that God uh, had the writers to write Every word means something. Amen. And we ought to delve into those words, and not just read them, but delve into them and see what they mean. And, and you know, it's been a while, and sometime, you know, as long as I've been saved, I'm still looking at scripture now and realizing, delving into it and learning, realizing, learning. wait a minute, it mean that. Yeah. It mean that. Yeah. It mean that. Amen. You know, didn't see that before. And then it's a good thing to hear from. Uh, like our pastor always say, it's a good thing to hear from somebody else's perspective. Mm -hmm. Because we have our own perspective and sometimes we see it the way we see it. Mm -hmm. But then when somebody else comes with their perspective, say, you know, I never thought about it that Amen. way. I never thought about it that way. So I'm going to read this morning from the New Living Transaction. Translation. Translation. Yeah. Psalm 23, 1 through 6. And it's a very short, it's a very short uh, by the uh, uh, chapter, or it's a very, very, very short chapter. Churches. Six Psalms. Psalms. It's, it's not, that's right. Churches. Psalms is not a chapter. Amen. It's a very short psalm, only six verses, but it packs a wallop. It has a lot of information. And it says, The Lord is my shepherd, mm -hmm. and I have all that I need. Mm -hmm. He lets me to rest in green meadows, He leads me beside peaceful streams, He renews my strength. Mm -hmm. He guides me along right paths, mm -hmm. bringing honor to his name. Yes. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, yes. I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Mm -hmm. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. Mm -hmm. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. Yes. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. Uh -huh. My cup overflows mm -hmm. with blessings. Surely, your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Elba. Elba. And again, something that I want to leave with you, leave with you, is God will see you through. Yes, yeah. yes. God will see you through. In those first, those first uh, four words that David said. The Lord is my shepherd. Mm -hmm. and what David did, what David was doing, David was making a declaration mm -hmm. of confirmation and acceptance. Mm -hmm. In other words, God, I know you you said you made us so that we you will be our shepherd and mm -hmm. we will be your sheep. Mm -hmm. And I accept that, God. I accept what you have put out for me. Mm -hmm. I accept what you have assigned me to do. Mm -hmm. And that's what David was saying when he said, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. He was uh, given a declaration yes. to say that I have accepted God for myself. Yes. I, 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 you know, and you know, we think about, I talk to my brothers a lot, my uh, four brothers a lot, and we talk about God a lot. We talk about mama a lot. Mm -hmm. And talk about how she used to pray for us. We even sing the song, somebody prayed for yeah. me, kept me on their mind, yeah. took out the time and prayed Pray for me. Yeah. God knows my mother prayed for us all mm -hmm. the time. She mm -hmm. prayed for us eight kids all the time. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I can't, you know, God kept me because of some of her prayers. Amen. But I can't get into heaven on mama's prayers. All right. All right. I have right. to accept God for myself. Yeah. I have to accept the relationship with God for myself. Yeah. And that's what David was saying, that I accept you, God, for myself. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my shepherd. My shepherd. My shepherd. Hallelujah. I have, I have accepted you. 
for myself. Mm -hmm. I have my own personal relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And we can't come to church and think, well, the pastor is saying that I go to a sanctified church, so, you know, as long as I go to church, I'm all right. Mm -hmm. You're not all right. That's just a part of it. Now, coming to church is a part of it, but now you got to know God for yourself. Right. You got to have a personal relationship with God for yourself. You got to accept God for yourself. And that's what David was declaring. The okay. Lord is my shepherd. Yes, yes. And then he said, and this is a very popular psalm. Here David talks about even when I walk through the, back, through the darkest valley. And that's what we, you know, we 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 wanna we know everything that happened during that uh, song, but the one part that I wanna uh, talk about today is the part about when David went through the back. Uh -huh. But the thing is, David prepared himself right. to go through that back. Yeah. When he accepted God, he he prepared himself go to go through the back. Yeah. So even when I walk through the darkest back, I will not be afraid. For you are close beside, beside me. Every Christian learns that life journey is not always smooth or perfect. And we will have valley experiences. When everything goes well, we should enjoy and be thankful to God for the times we find ourselves singing, whistling, mm -hmm. laughing, mm -hmm. smiling as we travel along. Mm -hmm. But then we discover that there are bumps, detours, even collisions that can bring our joy to a screeching halt. It is certainly not a lack of faith. It's certainly not a lack of faith. It's just life on this planet Earth. Mm -hmm. And you know, and that's why you know y'all hear me say a lot often that don't give the devil, don't give the devil uh, uh, the credit all the time. Mm -hmm. A lot of things that happen in life, just like the writer said here. A lot of things that happen in life, it's not because, a lot of negative things happen, it's not because the devil caused it. Mm -hmm. A lot of things happen because we're in the world, because yes. blood is running warm right. in our veins. Yes. Because like the pastor always say, I'm alive and I know I'm alive. A yes. lot of things happen just because we are here. Right. But the negative thing that happened, a lot of times, the first thing we want to say, look what the devil did. Look at look, 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 this old devil, look at it. And you know what the devil is doing? He's doing one of these numbers. Yeah, give me mm -hmm. some more. Give me some more accolades. Mm -hmm. Give me some more. I'll take all the, even though I didn't do it, mm -hmm. I'll take the credit. Mm -hmm. But we shouldn't do that. We should give the credit to God. No yes. matter how bad the situation is. Crazy. I just read the scripture. Anything, everything that's, that's, that's just, everything that's positive, everything that's good, think on these things. Yeah. God Let's stop giving the devil the credit. Amen. Because he don't deserve the credit. God Even in the bad times. Mm. Somebody said, in the good times, we ought to praise his name. Yeah. But in the bad times, we ought to do the same. Do the same. Amen. Let's stop giving the devil the credit. All right. Because he don't deserve the credit. Amen. Bad experiences are low points in our lives that we all must go through at one time or another. Sometimes we we thought we feel like we are on the on, we're the only one going through, but we're not. And this is this is the reason for God wants us to come together. Sometimes yes, God yes. wants us to meet and see and hear what yes. other people are going through. Sometimes we stay home, shut up at home. And we go we're going through and we're staying home. And the more negative things that's happening, the more situations that we can't handle that ha that's happening, mm -hmm. we tend to draw back and get distraught and, 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 and get discouraged. Mm -hmm. But we need to come together and listen to some of the testimonies that, yes. you know, that the church mother said, well, I went through this yes. and God brought me out. Yes. All right. And you say, and then we say, well, you know, I'm going through some of the same stuff that she just testified about. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. I'm going through some of the same stuff she just testified about. Uh -huh. So if God will bring her out, sure enough, God will bring me out. Amen. That's why we need to come together and be with one another. Yes. Yes. We're brothers and sisters in this thing. We're family in this thing. And yes. family stick together. Yes. Hallelujah. Family stick together. Yes. So all of us eventually are going to have our valley mm. moments. Mm. From the Bible, we read about great men and women of God who suffered and went through valley experiences in their life. For example, Moses was opposed 
by Israelites whom he spent his life loving and leading. Yeah. Moses had a huge, a whole lot of different valley experiences, mm -hmm. but he came through them. Amen. Yeah. And these, 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 these uh, patriarchs, mm -hmm. they, God had the writers to write this down so that even today, yes. that we can realize that the same God that worked for yes. them way back over 2,000 years ago, yes, that sir. same God is here yes, working sir. for us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God will, no matter how bad the situation is, no matter how low we get, God will see us through. Why? Right? Because he is God. David said in, in, in this psalm, he said, he, 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 he uh, set the table out before me in the presence of my enemy. This is what God was saying. God is the baddest thing in the valley. He set a table for me to sit down and feast in the presence of my enemy yeah, and get my enemy to say anything. Get yeah. my enemy to touch me. I can yeah. eat in peace. Yeah. Because God is the, the toughest thing in the valley. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what David wanted us to understand. That even as we have our valley situations, mm -hmm. God is down there in the valley with us. Yes, he is. His peace is down in the valley with us. Yes, yes. His joy is down in the valley with us. Sometimes it's not so joyous in the valley. Sometimes we have to cry in the valley. Yes. Sometimes we have to moan in the valley. Yes. Sometimes we have to fight our way through, through, through floods and flash floods in the valley. Yes. But God is right there. Yes. Yes. God is right there with yes. us in the valley. Yes. God will see you through. Mother Giss said a couple of weeks ago, that you know, who's he asked the question, who's in charge? Who's <laughs> oh, yeah. in charge? No matter who's yeah. in the White House, who's in charge? Got it. Our, our peace and our joy and our hope is not in the White House. Yeah. Our hope is not in Congress, but our hope is in God. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Who's in charge? You have to remember that as Christians, when we're in the valley, we have to remember who's in charge. God, God is still in yeah. charge. Yeah. I signed up for this journey because of God, because he said he'd keep me mm -hmm. in perfect peace. Yeah. Who yeah. mind is saying on him. That's why I signed up for this journey. Yeah. So now that same God that I'm going through, that I'm having problems in the valley, now that I'm fighting my way through the valley, I have to remember as He's a there. Christian, like David did, I have to make my declaration. Let God know that God, I'm still your sheep and you still yeah. my God. Yeah. And I'm, I'm trusting and believing you that you're going to keep me. That you're going to see me through. Hallelujah. Like I said, that was Moses who, who was opposed by the Israelites whom he spent his life loving and leading. These people, these are the old uh, prophets and, 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 and those people that uh, started out with God. That had to go through the valley, the same, some of the same valley that we're going through today. Mm -hmm. David dodged the spears thrown at him by King Saul. David loved Saul with all his might. Yes. David loved Saul with all his heart. And he even played the heart for Saul. Yes. And Saul got jealous and thought that David was after his throne. Mm -hmm. God had already told David that he would be the next king, but he wasn't gonna take the, the, the kingdom, you know, away from Saul. Amen. But Saul felt different, and he started trying to kill David. And David had to run for his life. And so many times, you know, when when we get confronted, the first, the, the man part of us, the human part of us, we want to fight back. But God said, don't fight. This battle is not yours. It's not yours. This battle is not yours. Yes, yes, This yes. battle belongs to me. Go ahead and Lord. run. Go ahead and run. So many times we, 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 we look and say, well, if I run, people are going to think little of me. Run. God said run. Let's do what God said do. Yeah. Yeah. Run. Don't worry about what man think of you, but let's do what God said do. Yeah. Ruth went through the death, through the valley through, through by the, the death of her husband and became a stranger in a strange land. Ruth, after her husband died, she had to leave her, her land and go to a land that she didn't know nothing about. Mm -hmm. But God fixed it for her. God fixed it for her. Yeah. God yeah. helped her. God, was, God saw her through. She was one of those people that went through the back and she made it out. Jeremiah was beaten and thrown into a pit because he prophesied 
what the king didn't want him to prophesy. Mm -hmm. He said that the things that God wanted him to say opposed to what man wanted him to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he was thrown into a pit, but God fixed it. Mm -hmm. God brought him out of that pit. Yeah, yeah. That was Jeremiah's valley. Amen. Stephen was stoned to death. Now, sometime, sometime, Stephen didn't make it out of the back. Uh -huh. Stephen actually died. Yeah, he, 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 he lost that valley uh, uh, journey. But guess what? Before he lost that journey, he did like David. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. Yeah. I, he accepted God as his personal savior. Yeah. So if you don't make it, if you go through the valley and don't make it out of the valley, just make sure you're ready to go home with Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. Just make yeah. sure you're ready to go and sit by God on his, on, on his right hand. Yeah. Yeah. We don't just jump up and go through the valley and say, well, I'm ready to go through the valley. But you got to repay yourself. Yeah. You got to accept God as your personal savior before you go through the valley. Because mm. there's, some tough, there's some tough situations in the valley. Crazy. There's some tough storms in the valley. There's a lot of tough things and tough situations that you might not make it out of. Mm -hmm. But Lord, I definitely want to make it out of, yeah. out of the valley. But if I don't, Okay. Lord, I want to be ready to go back with you if yeah. you call me. Yeah. If I don't make it through the valley, I want to be ready to go back with you if yeah. you call me. Yeah. Apostle Paul was strapped, was strapped up and beaten no less than five times. But Paul was ready. He was ready when he went through the valley. Amen. And God brought him out of the valley. He ended up losing his life. But Paul was ready. He had made that declaration, that same declaration that David had been, mm -hmm. that the Lord is my shepherd. Yeah. That the Lord is my shepherd. I am your sheep and I, I, I give my life totally to you. Yes. See, it's not just a matter of speaking the words, mm -hmm. but it's a matter of doing what the words have said. It's a, it's a deeper matter than that than just saying the words. We have to accept Christ. We have to have a, 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 a communication with Christ. We have to have a relationship, a personal relationship. Yes. Like I said, you know, Mama, I love Mama to death, and I'm, my mother could pray like 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 nobody else could pray. <laughs> Hallelujah! All through the day, Mama would pray Amen. for us. She go in her room and pray. We be sleep at night and we hear something. We hear praying, and Mama's in the room praying yeah. on her knees. Yeah, praying. But Mama prays. Yeah. It brought me to Jesus, but it can't take me to heaven. I got to have that relationship with God yeah, that's myself. That's right. Each one of us have to have that relationship with God ourselves. Each yeah. one of us have to go through the valley Lord, and amen. deal with the valley situations ourselves. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Joseph discovered at a young age that the road to life is not always smooth. Mm -hmm. His story is filled with rejection, false attacks, and a lot of them by his own family members. Mm -hmm. So you know he was, he was, he felt dejected. Mm -hmm. He had a, a, accusations against him, even enslavement, imprisonment, and long stretches of loneliness. Mm -hmm. Your valley experience probably won't come close to some of those old patriarchs. However, each one of your valley experiences is and will be just as real as theirs was to them. Mm -hmm. So we need to prepare for those valley experiences yeah. that we're going to have. Yeah. And the only way to do that is accept Christ as your personal Savior. Yeah. And yeah. get to know him for yourself. Yeah. And the good thing about a valley experience, valley, a valley experience is only temporary. Amen. Hallelujah. That experience is only temporary. Right. What David was trying to let us know in these six verses is that God will see you through every one of your valley experiences. That's right. And that the valley well, well, is only temporary. Yeah. You yeah. are not a permanent resident of the valley, and your valley experience is only temporary. The one thing we can be sure of is God is always at work. Yeah. David said, David, we don't know how long David had his valley experience. It don't say it. We don't know what David went through in his all the negative things he went through Not in his valley experience. Man. And he don't say. But the key is he does say what we do know. Mm -hmm. He said, but I, I fear no evil. Yeah. Why don't I fear no evil while I'm in the valley? Because thou art with me. Yeah. God, you're with me. Yeah. You know what? Some on the hill looking down at me and telling me what to do. But the Lord is with me right there as I go through everything I go through. God 
God is with me. Amen. And then he said, not only that, I didn't take no weapons in the valley. Only weapon I took was God. And God he said his rod and his staff. Yes. When I'm down and out, when I'm feeling bad because I'm in the valley fighting my way through. Yes. When situations not working right for me. When sometimes I have to cry because of what I'm going through. Uh -huh. When sometimes people lie on me because of, of who I am. Yeah, yeah. Really? David said his rod, thy rod mm -hmm. and thy staff, they comfort me. Comfort me. Thy rod yeah, and thy yeah. staff. Yes. They let me know that Wayne, everything's going to be all right. Yes, sir. You may be going through it today, but things going to be all right. Yes. I'm going to fix it for you. Yes. God knows hallelujah. Yes. By rod and I said, we need to understand that. Oh. We need to, and I said a few weeks ago, we, a Christian should not maybe feel overwhelmed is one thing, but Christians should never become overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Because when we become overwhelmed, that's why God tells us we shouldn't worry. Mm -hmm. Be concerned. Concern and worry is two different things. We should when you worry, you can't sleep at night. Mm -hmm. When you worry, you know, you lose your appetite and, and, and can't eat and start losing weight. When you worry, you can't think to do the right thing. Be concerned, yes. But God don't want us to worry. Mm -hmm. God don't want us to worry. Right. But Christians should not become overwhelmed because when we become overwhelmed, when we become overwhelmed, we forget to pray. Yes, when yes. we become overwhelmed, we forget to call on God. Yes. When we become overwhelmed, we mm -hmm. forget to, you know, to, to, to realize who we are in God. That's right. Yes. We forget yes. that God yes. is our help, yes. our present help in a time of need. Yes. So we can, excuse me, the one thing we can be sure of is God is always at work so you can completely trust God. When you are at some crossroads in your life, when you are forced to face trials and tribulations of life, and when you are at the point of not knowing what to do, mm -hmm. we all go, go through valley experiences in yeah. our lives. Yeah. Every time we go through, every time we go through these valley, ex valley experiences, we wonder why God allows us to go through them. The disappointments, the frustrations, the discouragement, the sicknesses, the dilemmas of life are temporary. We have to remember that they're all temporary. Mm -hmm. Psalms 34, 19 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them, them, all. All. them all. We have to understand that. We have to remember that when we're having problems and situations in our life. David said, The Lord is my shepherd. When it all come, when it came to his relationship with God, it was personal. Yes. That's the key. We have to have a personal relationship with God. When it comes to our relationship with God, we should also feel this way, that I need to have a personal relationship with God. David was a shepherd, and he knew the duty of a shepherd. He faced the lion and the bear to protect his father's sheep. Yes. David had placed himself between the beast and the sheep, just like Christ places his life between Satan and us. David went through the valley. David went through the valley, but he didn't. But he didn't make the valley his permanent home. No, not at all. It was just a stopover. It was just a, a go through. So stop complaining. When you go through the valley, stop complaining. Start giving God the glory. Yes. Start yes. thanking God that, Lord, I know it's tough. You know, it is tough. But, Lord, I thank you that it's not as bad as it could be. Amen. I thank you, God. Yes. That is not as bad as it could be because it could be a whole lot worse. Amen. Learn to thank God and give God the glory no matter what. Mm -hmm. No matter how bad this, you, you yeah. think the situation is. See, what, when we look at a situation and we think it's bad, it's, God said that, that ain't nothing. Uh -huh. I can handle that. Yeah. I can yeah. handle that. Yeah. I got to finish. Every Christian experiences both the mountaintop and the valley. The valley is, a very, di the valley is very different than the mountaintop. The valley is where life becomes challenging. The valley is where many battles are fought and the valley is where attitudes are developed. The valley is where our faith is built up. Yes. The valley helps us to become stronger. The valley helps us to become more dependent on God and that's what God wants. God wants us to become dependent on him. That's right. The valley is, in, is the place in life where we struggle with fears and painful circumstances. The valley for us is inevitable. The valley for us is inevitable. 
and we find ourselves in it for various reasons. It may be spiritual warfare, or the actions of others, or because of our own rebellious actions, or even due to the hand of God himself. We will find ourselves in the valley. But remember, what you're going through in your life is temporary, and God will bring you out. The true measure, somebody said the true measure of a man is not that he has adversity in his life, but how he handles that adversity. Yes, the same yes. with Christians. Yeah. When we when adversity comes in our life and we're gonna whine and, and stay home and, and, and blame God for everything, or we're gonna say, God to you, to God be the glory. Yeah. To God be the glory. Be the glory. I praise you, God. No matter for whatever situation I'm in, I praise you and I give you the glory. 